She had on a pair of shorts and a red t-shirt. She blonde hair, black hair? No, she's got uh, reddish brown hair. It's actually a, a brown with an auburn tint to it. What's it's her name? It's short. Her name is Maddie. It's a calm day in a quiet neighborhood. Kids are playing outside and parents feel at ease. But beneath this peaceful surface lies a chilling story that has left people with many questions. As we focus on this innocent looking picture, don't be fooled by its simplicity. This image marked the start of a puzzling and heartbreaking investigation. The story of Medi Clifton, an 8 year old child who was murdered by this so called innocent looking 14 year old. On November 3rd, chaos ensued in the quiet streets of the community as 8 year old Medi Clifton vanished without a trace. As the sun set and the streets grew dark, Medi's mother, Sheila Clifton, recalls the last moment she saw her youngest daughter. It was around 5 p.m. and Medi was eagerly rounding up golf balls to play with down the street before dinner. Little did she know that this would be the last time she laid eyes on her beloved child. But what makes this case even more confusing are the lingering questions. In this video, we will uncover the unsettling questions and strange circumstances surrounding the tragic fate of eight-year-old Medi Clifton. According to the victim's mother, Medi's day started like any other. She was excited to play outside and collect golf balls. Her mother had just returned from voting when she saw Medi running out to play. But when it was time for dinner, Medi didn't come back home, and her family started to worry. Everyone in the neighborhood got worried too. They searched everywhere, but they couldn't find Medi. They put up pictures of her and asked for help from anyone who might know something. In the midst of all the worry, one person seemed normal, Josh Phillips, a 14-year-old boy who, as we can see in this video, lived across Medi, and Medi would often spend a lot of time with. I mean, this is the home where Josh Phillips lived. That far right window was his bedroom where Maddie Clifton's body was found under his bed. Just across the street is where Clifton's home was. Josh Phillips seemed like an ordinary teenager living in the neighborhood. He had friendly interactions with his family and appeared to have a good relationship with them. There were no sign of disturbing behavior that would raise suspicion about what he was capable of. To his parents, he seemed like any other teenage boy and he didn't exhibit any concerning behavior at home or in school. He was just an unremarkable quiet kid next door, making it difficult for anyone to imagine the dark secret he was hiding. The mystery surrounding Medi Clifton's disappearance took a chilling turn when her lifeless body was discovered in a place no one could have imagined, hidden under the waterbed mattress of 14-year-old Josh Phillips. Neighbors and authorities had searched tirelessly for Medi, hoping to find her safe and sound. But when the mattress was lifted, revealing her small form crammed in the confined space. As we see in this video, this is how her body was placed. The heartbreak was unbearable. As one neighbor recounted, it was like a nightmare we couldn't wake up afraid for her. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done. Josh Phillips revealed the harrowing effects that led to Medi's demise. He admitted that after Medi accidentally got hit by a baseball while playing with him, she started to scream. In a moment of panic, Josh dragged her to his room, striking her repeatedly with his baseball bat. In a desperate attempt to silence her and prevent his father from finding out she was in their home. Demonstrated how he hit Medi with a baseball bat multiple times. The details of what followed were horrifying. As shown in this official police statement following his arrest, John authorities saying, I dragged her out of the waterbed and stabbed her in the chest with a pocket knife. After, he thought he heard her moaning. The young girl's life was cruelly cut short by the very person she once considered a friend. While Josh explained his side of the story, things just didn't add up. During the trial, shocking revelations came to light exposing the truth behind Josh's actions. Josh confessed to a panicked attempt to silence Maddie after an incident during their playtime. However, inconsistencies and discrepancies in his story surfaced. Some details didn't match the evidence or the statements of witnesses. It was said that Maddie entered Josh's room. He was watching violent porn. Not only that, but Maddie's sister stated that he would often talk about sex and make inappropriate creepy remarks 
as we can see in this video. Um, but I just remember my knees just shaking and stuttering. I just, I was terrified. Additionally, when her body was found, she wasn't wearing any pants or underwear. Prosecutors and defense attorneys battled over the facts and the conflicting testimonies added to the mystery surrounding the case. The courtroom drama unfolded as the jury tried to piece together the truth from a web of uncertainties. Neurologists examined Josh's brain, hoping to understand the reasons behind his actions. The findings added another layer of complexity to the mystery of Josh Phillips. The neurologist discovered small lesions on his bilateral frontal lobes, the part of the brain responsible for judgment and stress management. This discovery raised questions about whether these neurological abnormalities played a role in his actions. While the findings shed light on potential contributing factors, they didn't provide a clear-cut explanation for Josh's actions. The impact of these neurological discoveries on the case remained a subject of debate, leaving the community grappling with the complexities of the human mind and the inexplicable choices some individuals make. The trial for the case of Medi Clifton's tragic death was a whirlwind of emotions and legal proceedings. The courtroom was filled with tension as the community anxiously awaited justice for the innocent 18-year-old girl. The trial moved quickly, with both the prosecution and defense presenting their cases and witnesses. The shocking revelations and testimonies laid bare the gruesome events that led to Medi's untimely demise. The jury and the judge carefully listened to the evidence, seeking to understand the truth behind the enigma of Josh Phillips. Despite the defense's efforts to cast doubt and confusion, the jury swiftly reached a verdict. The gravity of the crime and the loss of an innocent life left no room for hesitation. The trial concluded with a resounding judgment that would forever alter the course of Josh Phillips' life. The resolute decision of the jury was to convict Josh Phillips of first-degree murder. The young boy next door, who once seemed unremarkable, was now deemed responsible for the heinous act that took Medi Clifton's life. The weight of the evidence and the shocking nature of the crime left little room for leniency. Josh's conviction for first-degree murder meant that he would face the most severe consequences under the law. As the judge handed down the sentence, the reality of a life behind bars settled over Josh Phillips. The once ordinary teenager would now spend the rest of his life confined to the walls of a prison cell, paying the price for the irreversible choices he made on that fateful day. Medi Clifton was more than just a victim. She was a young girl with dreams and aspirations that would never be realized. She had a bright future ahead of her, with talents in playing the piano and promising talent for basketball and dance. Her sister, Jessie, remembered her as someone who always reached out to others, saying she hated seeing someone lonely or alone. But on that tragic day, Medi's dreams and her potential to bring joy to others were mercilessly taken away. The community mourned the loss of a vibrant and caring young soul whose life was cut short too soon. For more information on chilling cases, check out our previous video on the unresolved case of Madeline McCann.